research data the housing finance industry is expected to expand that compound annual growth rate of 20.58% to talk more about housing finance industry we have a very special guest today md and ceo of lic housing finance limited why vishwanath god sir welcome sir on money control thank you thank you sir sir with the rbi increasing repo rates to home loan emi pressure is mounting on the top of people what do you expect and see the situation evolving in upcoming time yeah uh, it is correct because the successive rate hikes have led to some increase in emi as the home loan rates are floating mostly in nature hmm. but if you see across the globe now the global economy is really facing lot of headwinds hmm. but one good thing your rbi really is very proactive and hmm. they are almost a ring fenced lot of upside risk and hopefully hmm. we may see the situation to ease out very shortly maybe in the due course Mm-hmm. then again things will be better under control in our country and mm-hmm. then if that remains uh, actually if that remains the case then we are now at what we would call a peak of the almost upward rate cycle mm-hmm. so mostly from there the rates have to come down only and then even earlier also these cycles were seen in the in the industry mm-hmm. so it is not a new to the industry because even past 2 3 decades if you see this is cyclical mm-hmm. in nature almost so suddenly when the rates start coming down i think mm. more or less it will give a good picture and now it is almost in the final stage of correction mm. and as far as we are concerned in the sort of lsc housing finance limited and we are constantly engaging with our borrowers who are feeling the pinch of this rising in emis and mm. on case to case basis we are resolving it we are increasing the repayment term so that what happened to emi more or less remain the stable hmm. Sir, so what kind of competition you are getting from your competitors like HDFC Housing Finance, PNB? Uh, also, is there any merge plan of LIC Housing Finance with LIC in the upcoming time? Yeah, you are very right on the point. As far as this housing finance industry is concerned, it is highly competitive. Yeah. Yes. Of course, many are there in the field. Apart from the finance companies, even the banks, even many lenders are there, and mm-hmm. then. mostly what happened in this industry customers mostly prefer the institution who offer very ease of doing business and mm-hmm. even who offer very competitive rates and better service so we at lic hfl have been maintaining a very good balance on these factors and uh, we have become a almost a very good choice for many of the people who would like to go for home loans and mm-hmm. uh, in the service sector also as far as service matters are concerned mm-hmm. we take ourselves a lot of pride that in offering many convenient options to avail a home loan like uh, home delivery of home loans then digitized loan applications then mm. instant loan offers these are certain things we have actually initiated really they are paying us good good dividends mm. and we have been able to remain ahead of the curve through our mm. innovative and customized product offerings as mm. far as your other question is concerned about who don't have any such plans or even yeah. thoughts about this mergers hmm So, so you are you guys are not planning any 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 yeah, not there no talk yeah, of yeah, mergers. Yes, so no thought like that. Okay. So, sir, what what is the latest trend among younger people? Specifically, how many your customers are in between the age of twenty five to thirty five, and and what is their home loan ticket size? So, if if you can yeah. put some light on this. Especially what happened after the pandemic, if you see what happened, work from home. That culture had really came first time to the light. then many yeah. people started working on home they needed a bigger house a better house and even a good location like that so what happened all the youngsters mostly who are now working in this it or any other fields they prefer to have some sort of what you call them better workspace at home also hmm. that's why what happened both in peripheral towns as well as metros and smart cities the youngsters started buying the houses in a big number as hmm. far we are concerned mostly around 30% of the borrowers are from this age group of 25 35 and if you look at the ticket size mostly we are in the mid segment size where what happened the uh, average ticket size of this group will be more or less around 26 to 28 lakh range that is almost all we are experiencing and going forward i think this will be a good more or less remain stable because this group will give very good push for the sales of this home loans in the days to come 
so we we have seen lots of banking crisis in the west uh, nowadays do you see any impact of west banking crisis in the housing finance industry what's what will be your opinion on this uh, actually here i have to say that we are very fortunate uh, to be in india because what happened here our mm -hmm. very strong and economic policies and very good regulatory frameworks and then compliance methodology all these things really safeguarded the economic okay. crisis which is affecting other economies and we are still witnessing a very promising demand for home loans as per reports okay. if you see that home loan sales showed a growth of almost uh, what you are telling in the beginning around that is uh, what are the figures you are told that certainly are on cards like i said earlier also we are almost out of the woods and our future estimates remain very positive the okay. indian banking sector is very very resilient and well equipped such scenarios have cropped up in the past also and then we have emerged successfully in that also and and to that sir, uh, how do you see the demand in individual and construction housing finance in upcoming time yeah that is a good question what happened now uh, the recent push by what you call by the government expenditure and the infrastructure hmm. is really one of the good factor we to see then again everywhere what happened across all the regions Mm. Entire our all all uh, tier two, tier three, even tier four city actually small towns also. Good mm. what you call uh, sales are very much up uh, upside in the sense the real estate sector remains very much buoyant yeah. as there is sustained demand for years. The new project plans also have really picked up. I think even even affordable, even slightly higher than affordable segment also we are seeing a good demand. and then mm. as i as i told you already government's strong infra push also has mm. given a very good momentum across these are things what i feel that in the for the housing sector there will be good demand and even housing for all a good concept of the government which is mm. really a driving force this is also happening in a big way so we have seen like lic housing finance limited reported a massive decline in the net profit for the december quarter of fiscal year 2023 Uh, its net profit hit by higher uh, financing cost fell around 37% uh, on year on year basis so what kind of expectations you have in the next quarter from lic housing finance yeah if you see the last three quarters performance is more or less compared to earlier quarter okay only except in the last quarter where we had uh, taken a call to make very good prudent provisioning to have very good pcr ratios comfortable level or else what happened now uh, across if you see actually the activities are in full swing and then our pickup we are placed across india then our even this year we have rolled out our new what you call a software package across that really is giving a good support for us then we are also uh, actually we also what you call uh, streamlined our processes down the line and restructured some of the places where some small hubs are created then again these are giving good push for our outreach into tier 3 tier 4 and then our mis who are the our strong channel who are the people supporting grassroots level all are fully involved and then recovery also if you look at the asset quality as now slowly is now becoming more visible in the sense the quality is seems to be better with that what happened very confident that going forward we will have a our we are very much high up, positive about our best performance so there are some reports which is saying that uh, housing finance uh, disbursement to remains lower despite uh, strong quarter 4 so what what is your views on this how do you say this quarter 4 yeah now more or less what happened now uh, if you look at what happened maybe in one or two regions here and there otherwise if you uh -huh. see across compared yeah. to our all operations uh, even yeah. pan india i think yeah. moral is it is unstable in nature what i what do you feel okay so sir it is also the, the some analysts are saying that it is expected that banks will continue to dominate in the housing finance market in in rising rates scenario uh, what is your take on this where housing finance industry is standing in competition to banks uh, where, where you uh, people see yourself in this race housing finance company what you call you know in the sense it is specialized our our what you call the channels and then our systems are almost all uh, in the sense is time tested and then yeah. the service levels and then the way we provide service to our customers will definitely yeah. give an edge 
so in the market these things are driving us more or with a good brand i think we will have a uh, we will not have much of what you call now of course not to think of that sort of competition and all but as far as our company is concerned we are very positive about our brand.